The FBI swooped in on the Orlando Museum of Art today and took possession of a popular collection of paintings. This all stems from the controversy we've been following over a collection by the late artist Jean-Michel Basquiat that some are calling fake. As Channel 9's Angela Jacobs reports, the museum says it's not under investigation and is cooperating. Even the lady selling tickets had no idea. She says, oh, sorry. She says, we, we're closing. We found frustrated visitors at the Orlando Museum of Art hoping to see Jean-Michel Basquiat's famous Heroes and Monsters exhibit, said to be the only showing by the graffiti artist who died in 1988. I've been planning on this for probably half a year already or whenever it went up and when, when I started reading about it. So yeah, I'm quite disappointed that they're not letting us in. We soon learned a team of FBI agents was the reason on site to load up the entire collection. The 25 paintings built as Basquiat's originals had been found in a storage locker with an estimated value of around $100 million. But as we told you earlier this year, controversy has surrounded the paintings since a New York Times article suggested they could all be fakes. Critics point to this FedEx logo, questioning whether it was even in use before the artist died. We stand by our, our industrial, rigorous, academic process. We were there when the exhibit opened in February, boosting attendance 500%. The museum director told us then the paintings were authenticated before they came to Orlando. Today, a spokesperson for the museum confirmed for us it complied with the FBI's request today to turn over the work. And added, we have not been led to believe the museum has been the subject of any investigation. We will continue to cooperate and see our involvement purely as a fact witness. So I hope that, you know, they can get the true story behind it. In Orlando, Angela Jacobs, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. The exhibit was set to close next week. We also reached out to the FBI for more details on its visit. The agency would only say it conducted court-authorized activity today at that museum.